Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name's Liz. Today I'm gonna show you some Target Dollar Spot DIYs that I thought turned out super cute. A lot of fun blanks and things that you can make over, things to DIY with. I think that Target Dollar Spot has some really great stuff. And I love stopping by, seeing what they got, picking some things up. I found some really great things. So if you wanna see what I got from Target and how I DIY them, then let's jump into our first DIY. For this DIY, I'm gonna take this $3 reverse hanging chalkboard sign from Target Dollar Spot. Obviously, all of these things are gonna be from Target Dollar Spot, but I loved the foily flowers that were on the front of this. I just thought it was really cute, and I knew that I wanted to keep that in my, you know, finished project. Now, I'm gonna show you what I did on this sign, but on all the signs. I didn't film me putting the wax on the original sign that I just showed you. So this is another piece from Target Dollar Spot. I am going to wax all of my pieces that I'm going to be putting my chocotour on, especially these ones that are wood, they're porous, and you want to make sure that you wax them. This is the wax that comes straight from chocotour and the little applicator pad that comes with it. And I am just rubbing the wax on there, making sure to cover all of it. I wait a good 30 minutes and I come back and I buff it again and then I put my chocotour transfer on there. I learned this the hard way with one of my projects today that these wood pieces do need to be waxed. If you don't wax and you lift your transfer afterwards, it comes like all these little splintery pieces are going to stick to your transfer and it's not going to turn out super great. So just a piece of advice, if you're using chocotour on these Target Dollar Spot wood items, make sure you wax it beforehand. Now I am going to take some painter's tape. I put it on top of the transfer that I'm gonna use just to kind of measure out how big the transfer is. And I wanted to make sure that when I painted, I painted enough for the transfer to go on top of it. So I tried just centering that in the middle of my sign as best as I can. And I'm gonna take two more strips of painter's tape and I'm gonna go across the top and the bottom because I do want to paint the middle. So I'm just gonna take that middle strip out of there and I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'm just gonna give this a really rough coat of chalk paint. I only did one coat and you could still kind of see the wood grain through it and those other little flowers that I covered up. So I just wanted this to be really rough, kind of more of a rustic look to it. So I only did one coat. And then once that's semi-dry, I just go ahead and remove the painter's tape and you're left with this really pretty color block sign. So I'm gonna use one of these transfers from this C-size transfer that comes with four different sayings. I'm gonna do the come on spring, do your thing. I thought that was really cute. So I'm gonna center that onto the white strip that we just painted. And I'm gonna use this really pretty kind of coral color. It's called Sunset Drive. I believe it's one of their newer chalk paste colors. And I'm just gonna take that on a squeegee and just squeegee my chalk paste right on top of it. And then you're just going to remove the transfer once you get all that excess chalk paste off of there. And look how cute this turns out. I think that it's so fun. I just love the way this one looks against the white. Super, super pretty. So I'm gonna take some greenery that I got from Michaels. I can't remember the name of it, but it was in their spring section and I thought this was really fun. So I'm gonna pull off about eight little sprigs of this greenery. I'm gonna use four on each side. And then I'm also gonna take some of these florals that I also got from Michaels. I used these florals and the greenery in a previous project and I just thought that they turned out so cute. So I knew I wanted to use these again for this DIY. So I just took four sprigs, kind of piled them all up on top of each other. I took some floral wire and tied them all together and I'm gonna do that with the other four as well. And once I have all of my greenery and my florals all kind of wrapped together in two separate sections, I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna hot glue those to the top portion of my sign. Now I wish that I had done the white paint and the chocotour transfer just a little bit lower so that the greenery didn't cover up so much of the words. So I did end up kind of gluing down some of the branches to the sign so that they wouldn't overhang on the saying so much. 
And then I'm going to take some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to make a bow with it. I thought this ribbon was super cute. I love the fringed ends. So to make my bow, I'm going to take two pieces that are the exact same length. Those are going to be my loop pieces for the bow. And then I'm going to kind of measure out how long I want my tail to be and I'll cut a piece for my tail. And then for the two loop pieces, I'm just going to hot glue the ends together so you have a loop and I will do that to both of those pieces. And then to assemble my bow, I'm going to take my tail piece, I'm going to fold it over in half. I'm going to take the two loops and kind of stack them on top of it, one after the other. And then I'm going to take some twine, wrap it around the middle of the bow piece, and then tie a knot so it's all scrunched together in the middle. And then I will wrap my twine around the middle portion of the bow several times so that it has a nice thick middle piece. You could also just cut off an extra piece of that ribbon and wrap it around the middle if you wanted, but I liked how the twine looked with the bow. So I just wrap my twine around the middle and then tie a double knot in the back and cut off the excess and then I'm just going to hot glue that bow right to the middle in between those florals and again I kind of had to hot glue the tails down so they weren't covering up the words so much so again if I could do it over I'd probably put the white paint and the transfer just a little bit further down so it wasn't so close to the top but that's all you got to do for this DIY I think it turned out super cute and I just think it's a gorgeous door hanger For this DIY, I found a bunch of wood cutout bunnies and eggs in their more crafting section. This wasn't really the Target dollar spot section. It was back, you know, where their crafts are. <laughs> and each of these pieces were $5. So I'm gonna take this rustic scrapbook paper pack that you can actually find off my website, moredecalanddecor.com for sale. And it comes with a whole bunch of fun scrapbook paper and some stickers. And I just think it was really fun and I decided to use the scrapbook paper for the bunnies and the egg. So I'm gonna show you how I did the egg first. I'm gonna use this faux wood scrapbook paper and I'm just going to flip it on its back, trace around the egg, and then I'm going to cut the egg out. Now I'm just gonna use a good old glue stick to attach my scrapbook paper to my egg. And I didn't bother painting the sides or anything with this. I liked the sides, that natural wood. So you could paint it if you wanted to. I just decided to leave it. I'm gonna put my scrapbook paper on top and then I'm also gonna take an X-Acto knife and kind of cut around the edges. Anything that's excess and coming over the sides of the eggs, I just use my X-Acto knife to take that off. And then I wanted the sides to be darker because I did use my X-Acto knife on it. The white portion of the scrap of paper was popping through and I just covered that up using some Waverly Wax in Antique. And then I found these Happy Easter wood cutouts at Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 and I'm going to take one of them. I'm going to use some of my Arteza markers on the happy portion in this really pretty green. I thought this was really fun. And then for the Easter portion, I'm just going to take a white marker. Actually, I think this is from Dollar Tree. And I just went over that a couple times for the word Easter just to get that nice and white. And once that's done, I'm just going to use some gel super glue on the words and I'm going to super glue that down to my egg. Now I'm going to take some twine and these mini daisies that were from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to wrap the twine around the bottom portion of the egg about three times, tying a double knot in the back, and then I'm going to take one of those daisies and I'm going to hot glue it where all the twine meets and just hot glue it right on top. And that is it for the egg portion. For the bunnies, again, they were $5 each. Super cute. And I'm going to use more scrapbook paper from this rustic pack from my website. I took the back of the wood scrapbook paper that we used. And then I took this floral design that I thought was really pretty. So I'm just going to trace out both of my bunnies. Like I said, one is going to be the back of the wood portion of the scrapbook paper we used before. It's this really pretty green that I thought was really fun. 
I'm going to put that on there and then I'm going to use the floral kind of blue zigzags that I thought was really cute. I'm going to use that on the other bunny. Again, just tracing it out, cutting it out, using a glue stick to attach the paper to the bunnies. And then also to clean up a little bit more, I take some sandpaper around all the edges and kind of smooth all the paper out. Now I'm going to make a couple things to go on my bunnies. For this one, I'm going to take some twine around four of my fingers and I'm just going to wrap it around probably 10 times and then I'm going to take an excess piece of twine, wrap it around the middle and tie it in a double knot, making a bow, but I am going to cut the loops on each end. I wanted the bow just to be, you know, more ragged, I guess <laughs> you could say. So I'm just gonna cut all the loops and then make sure that they are all nice and even. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with some raffia, wrap it around my fingers, take an excess piece of raffia, wrap it around the middle, tie it in a bow and then cut the loops on each end. Now I'm going to take some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, this really pretty kind of leafy ribbon. I'm gonna cut four strips all about the same size. And then I'm also going to take some lace ribbon that you get from the Dollar Tree, again, cutting four pieces all about the same size. For the green bunny, I'm going to make a little bow to go right under its ear. So I'm going to hot glue down my lace ribbon in a crisscross. And then I'm going to glue down my leaf ribbon on top of that in a crisscross. And then I will glue my raffia little piece right on top of that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my other bunny. I'm going to take the lace ribbon glue it in a crisscross and this time I put it around his neck kind of like a little bow tie and then I'm going to glue my leaf ribbon right on top in a crisscross and then lastly my twine right in the middle and that is it for the two bunnies and the egg I thought these turned out really cute and they look adorable all in a matching set Really quickly, I'm popping in really fast in between these DIYs to share with you, if you guys did not know, I have a website, moredecalanddecor.com, where I sell wood craft kits and I have a monthly subscription box. So if you like monthly subscription boxes and you like crafts, I would love it if you would check it out. I will leave it linked in my description box below so that you can see for March, it is Easter themed. So if you're looking for a fun Easter DIY project, then you'll definitely want to sign up, but I have a lot of other fun craft kits and scrap of paper available on my website. So again, I will leave it linked down below if you guys would like to check it out. For this DIY, I'm going to take one of these house signs. Look how cute these are. I thought these were so much fun. I picked up several of them. They were $3 each and I'm going to take a Chaco Tour transfer, this one that says live life in full bloom. I'll cut that out and then center it where I want it onto my sign. I wanted it a little bit more towards the top, so I tried to just center it as best as I could. And then I'm just gonna press down on it, make sure it's all nice and stuck to my sign. And I'm gonna go in with some chalk paint. This is, I believe, in pesto. Now I wanted to make sure that I didn't get those deep engraved lines full of chalk paste. So I just tried to do the best I could and just kind of skipped over that part. And then I did do it in two sections. I did the top half, and then made sure it was dry and then laid it down again and did the bottom half. I just did this so that my chalk paste didn't dry to my transfer. And then I went over the bottom portion and then peeled that up. And now I didn't fuzz my transfer as well as I thought I did. So it peeled up a little bit of paint on that sign, but it was totally fine because I wanted this to be distressed anyways. So I'm going to take some of my Waverly chalk paste and mineral and on a chip brush, I'm just going to go over the entire thing, just adding little distressings to it 
it, make it look a little bit more grungy. Now I'm going to take some ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to cut a strip out and I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom portion of my sign. I just glue it on either end and I love that this matches the chalk paste color. I just think it's really pretty. And then I'm going to take some solo wood flowers and hot glue these to the bottom corner of my sign and that's all you got to do for this DIY. I think this turned out really cute. I actually think this might be my favorite from the entire video. I'm loving the solo wood flowers and the color of the chalk paste. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You can find the chalk tour and solo wood flower links in my description box if you are ever interested. Next, I'm going to take one of these large cutting boards. This is actually pretty big. It was $5 and I did pick up a couple of these because I think that they are so much fun. I'm going to take this Kitchen Rules transfer from Chuck Couture. This is actually one of their Club Couture transfers that we got last year and I think this one is so much fun. If you're not a Club Couture member, it's $20 a month. You get a transfer and some single packets of paste. It's like Christmas every month. You're getting a surprise, a new present. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really fun. So if you're ever wanting to join Club Couture, you also get a ton of perks, things that you can get on sale that other people can't by being a Club Couture member. So I will leave the Club Couture link in the description box. So I'm going to use my white chalk paste on the majority of this and I'm going to again do kind of the peel and dry method where I apply the chalk paste, I lift my transfer up, dry the chalk paste and then lay my transfer back down and then apply the rest of my chalk paste. Again, this just makes sure that my chalk paste is not drying to the transfer and I'm not having any issues. I'm going to use my chuck paste in eucalyptus for the rooster and that is it for this DIY. This is the one where I did the DIY but I didn't wax the surface first <laughs> and it was a complete mess. So once I waxed the surface and let it dry and then try it again, this is how it turned out and I think that it looks so cute. This is going to look really fun in a kitchen on my counter. To finish it off, I just wrapped some twine around the top portion a lot of times and then tied a bow with it and that just finishes off this DIY. I think this was so cute and it is super, super easy. For this DIY, this is a little chalkboard sign that you can get for $3 at the Target Dollar Spot. Picked up a couple of these. I am not going to use it as a chalkboard though. I am going to use it again with a Chalk Couture transfer. This one is a little different and I love it. Emotionally attached to fictional characters. If you know me and you've seen my bedroom, I have a bookcase full of books. So I can't wait until we get into our new home and I can have a little spot for all my books. And this sign is definitely going on that bookcase on the top or somewhere where I can display it with all my books because I think this turned out super cute. So I'm going to take my transfer. I'm going to put it inside the sign. This transfer was just big enough to fit into this target sign, but I think it turned out really cute. So I just used my squeegee to help adhere my transfer down into all the corners so nothing is bubbling or pulling up. And then I'm going to use three different colors. I'm going to use my chalk paste in eucalyptus and then the sunset drive and then in white. So I just do that top book in my eucalyptus color. And again, I'm doing that peel and dry method. I'm gonna put my chalk paste on the first one. I'll peel the transfer up just past what I just did. Make sure that is all nice and dry. And then I will lay my transfer back down and then put the next color down on the next book. I just repeat that step for all four of my books and that's all you gotta do. 
this was really really easy and i love the color combination super fun and i love that the sign only cost me three bucks I think it looks really fun and something that you could pick up at Hobby Lobby or another home decor store. So that's all you got to do for this one. Let me know if you are a big fan of reading like I am with Chakotor's Spring and Summer collection. They had several book themed transfers. I got all of them because I'm obsessed. I couldn't help myself and <laughs> they were all really cute. So several book transfers to choose from to make yourself some book decor, but I just thought this was so cute. Now again, in the crafting section, I found these three wooden bunnies. It came as a kit with some paint, obviously for kids. It was $5, but I'm gonna make my own little bunnies. So I'm gonna take my Dixie Belle chalk paint in mint julep and tea rose. And then I'm also gonna take my Waverly chalk paint in maize. And I'm gonna paint each of these bunnies, one of these colors. I was kind of going for like a peep look to them, uh, some bright kind of pastel type colors, but with my little swing on it, nothing too bright or crazy, kind of toned down a little bit. But I think that the colors were really, really cute for the, each of these. So I just painted each of these in one of those colors. And then for some added detail, I'm going to take a black paint pen from Arteza and I'm going to do stitching around the entire thing for all three bunnies. That's all you got to do for this DIY. You could add more or less detail. Maybe you don't want to do the stitching on there. You can leave the stitching off. You could add ribbon and bows to it if you wanted, but this is all I'm going to do for this DIY. Really, really easy and quick and I thought these turned out really cute. For this DIY, I'm going to take one of these round cutting boards from the Target Dollar Spot. This was $5. Again, they have these engraved flowers on the front. I'm going to take this Chocotor transfer in time for a little garden therapy. I thought this was really fun and I'm just going to fuzz the back of it. Also, I have already applied my wax like you saw in the very first project. So it is all ready for me to apply my transfer and my chalk paste. I'm going to use a color combination of the Sunset Drive, some white, and then I believe this green chalk paste is in Sage, I want to say. So I just did the Sunset Drive for the boots. Again, I'm going to do that same pull back and dry type of method. I'll put one on pull it back, let it dry, lay my transfer down. You don't necessarily have to do this. If you're super quick and fast, by all means, do as many colors at a time as you want. For some reason, I'm just really slow <laughs> and my chalk paste ends up drying onto my transfer and it doesn't come through. So I like doing this to make sure that I don't have any issues. So I will just do all of my colors in the pattern that I want them to go. And once I have gotten all of my chalk paste on there. My transfer is all good to go. I am going to finish off with some nautical rope through that top hole at the top so I can hang it on a hook or anywhere else that I want to hang it from. And that is it for this super easy DIY. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite project was in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.